Alright guys, just made it through another box of Canadian pennies. And this is the first time that I've been able to coin roll hunt uh, all the way back since uh, the beginning of September. Uh, if you've seen our previous videos, you would know uh, I was in Alberta and had absolutely no luck with the dimes and nickels. So this is the first time I've done pennies and just coin roll hunting in general since uh, the early September. And it was a pretty typical box. Uh, all in all, we had 945 Canadian copper pennies, which works out to be 37.8%. And unfortunately, I accidentally left my scale back at school, but I did keep track of how many coins we were getting. Uh, to start, for the 1982 to 1996 Canadian pennies, we had 558. For the 1980 and 1981 Canadian pennies, there were 77. For the 1953 to 1979, we had 241. And then for the American pre-1982 copper pennies, we had 69 in total. And again, we did really good with some of the more interesting coins, uh, particularly with the King George the VI ones. Uh, just starting there, we had a 1938, a 1941, a 1945, a 1946, two from 1947, two from 1949, a 1950, and then a 1952 King George VI Canadian Penny. So there were 10 in total, which is great. We want to try to get as many of the King George VI pennies as we can, uh, just because if you're from the U.S. and you haven't heard, uh, Canada is uh, ending the uh, availability of pennies in February. So again, we're hoping to get as many of the King George pennies that we can before uh, we're not able to get any more uh, pennies here in Canada. We also had three American wheat pennies. Just starting there with the one on the left, we had a 1944, a 1946D, and then a 1949D. So three wheat pennies. We also had a two cent euro. And we also got two pennies from the US, uh, both from the year 2009. Uh, the one on the right there had a D mint mark. And again, I'll just turn these around just so you guys can see. They were both uh, different varieties from the 2009. Again, uh, it's been a while since I've done the pennies, but I believe that there were uh, four different kinds of American pennies that you could get uh, in 2009. So we got two of them there. And then we also got a bunch of 1982 American pennies as well. I believe there's eight there. Again, to, we'll have to weigh these to know which ones are the zinc pennies and which ones are copper. So again, we'll just add them to the pile and uh, weigh them later on. And then we also had a Canadian dime in one of the rolls. And I don't know if you can see it too well there. I'll try to focus on it better. But I saw that it was a 1960, uh, some year in 1960, I don't know if you can see the 6, and I could have sworn it said 1964, however when I put it on a magnet, uh, it did stick, which tells me that it unfortunately is not silver. So this will go into uh, the coffee pile, and uh, I'll spend this one, and uh, well, I won't save it for its silver value since it, it didn't end up being silver. So again, it's really good to get back into coin roll hunting, uh, particularly with the pennies, uh, because they're going away in uh, a couple weeks here. Uh, again, too, we got, just to remind you guys, we got 945 in total, 37.8%. If you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that's always greatly appreciated. Again, I'm getting around to... Uh, replying to some of the comments that have been left in the last couple of weeks. So again, feel free to leave some comments and I'll reply to those as soon as I can. That's it for now guys, we'll see you next video.